I'm going to show you the difference between P input transistor and NPN transistor. So as you can see here, this is the symbol of NPN transistor and here the symbol of P input transistor. So as you can see here for the transistor, we have the base collector and emitter. So here for NPN transistor, the direction of the arrow is from base to emitter, as you can see. Okay, but for PMP transistor, as you can see from emitter to the base. Okay, here just to remember, we can see that the arrow here is non penetrate. Okay, non penetrate, and here the arrow is penetrate. Okay, so penetrate we have P. PMP non penetrate NP non penetrate NPN. This is just astuous to remember. Okay, so to test the PMP transistor, if you put the red probe in the base, here we have plus. Okay, and the black probe once in the collector and once in the emitter, you will get a reading. Okay between base and emitter you will get a reading and between base and collector you will get a reading okay but if you change this setup means you put the black probe here and the red probe once here and once here you will not get any reading means this is MPN transistor but for the PMP transistor the inverse when you put the black probe here in the base and the red probe once in collector and once in emitter you will get a reading as you can see if you change the setup you will not get any reading so this is how you can test the PMP and MPN transistor so to summarize the MPN transistor you will find the arrow toward the emitter and in PMP transistor the arrow is toward the base okay so to test the MPN transistor you will get a reading when you put the red probe in the base and the black probe once in collector and once in emitter and for PMP transistor you will get a reading when you put the black probe in the base and the red probe once in collector and once in emitter. Now let's see the difference between MPN channel MOSFET and PMP channel MOSFET. So as you can see here, this is the symbol of the MOSFET, as you can see. Okay, for the N channel, we have this symbol, as you can see, we have drain, gate, and source. Okay. So basically, there is a slight difference between MOSFETs and transistors. The working principle is almost the same, but there is some differences. So for the transistor, for example, when the arrow, as you can see, is toward the base, okay, in the transistor, we call that transistor PMP transistor. But for MOSFETs, the inverse. Here we have the arrow is from source to gate. This is MPN transistor. Okay, this this means a channel MOSFET. But when arrow is toward the source, okay, from gate to source, we call this P in channel MOSFET. So note that for the MOSFET, it contains just one diode. Okay, so for transistor, it contains two diodes one between collector and base and the other between base and emitter but for MOSFET it contains just one diode between source and drain as you can see so for the amp channel the direction of the diode as you can see is from source to drain but for P channel the direction of the diode is from drain to source so to test to end panel MOSFET, when you put the red probe in the source, as you can see, and the black probe in the drain, you will get a reading. And when you swap the probes, you will not get any reading. Okay? 
But for the P channel MOSFET, when you put the red probe in the drain and the black probe in the source, you will get a reading. But if you swap the probes, you will not get any reading. Okay? So to remember when the negative terminal of the diode or the cathode is connected to the drain means negative in PN. But when the positive terminal of the diode is connected to the drain means EMP channel. Just to remember it. Okay? So basically, I want to add that if you get a continuity while testing MOSFETs or transistors, that means the MOSFETs and transistors are failed. Okay? So we're gonna see right now the digital multimeter. I'm going to show you two types of digital multimeter. So this kind of digital multimeter with scales or gradation, as you can see. Here we have the diode option or the continuity option. And here we have the resistance. We have ohm. We have gradation here or scales. Okay. 200 ohm. 2K. 20k, 200k, 2 mega ohm, 20 mega ohm, and 200 mega ohm. Okay, and here as you can see, this is another digital multimeter. As you can see, we have resistance. We don't have hair scales. This is an auto range or automatic multimeter. As you can see here, we have auto range. Okay, this is auto range or automatic measurement. Okay, but for this kind of multimeter, of course, we have scales and gradation. So we're gonna use these two kinds of multimeter in the curves. Here, this is DC electric current or amperage. As you can see, we have two milliamps here, twenty milliamps, two hundred and ten amps okay so this is the amperage scales okay and here this is alternating current where we have other gradation as you can see okay so two amps two milliamps 20 milliamps and so on to test the amps or amperage you have to put the red probe in this part okay where we have 10 amps and the black probe in the common part. But if you want to test the voltage or resistance, you have to use this part where we have V, as you can see, the center part with the common part. Here, as you can see, this is the capacitance scales. Okay, if you want to check the capacitance of any capacitor, you can use these scales. As you can see, we have farad. Okay, the unit of measurement. So we have, as you can see here, microfarad, nanofarad, and so on. So this is basically alternating voltage. Okay, this is alternating voltage. Of course, we have many gradation here. 750, 200 volts, etc. Okay, and over here we have the DC voltage scales. As you can see, this is the symbol for the DC voltage. And over here, as you can see, we have PNP and NPN. This is for transistor. If you want to check transistors, you can use this holes. As you can see, we have emitter, collector, and base. But this option, the diode option, and the continuity option is the best way if you want to, to check any transistor. I prefer this. I prefer the diode option. Okay? I prefer the diode option. It's pretty easy. Here we have switches and buttons. So the power button, the hold button, and the brightness button. 